Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the northeastern plains, just north of the Dry Falls, building a courthouse. This build is something I built on the Colonising Conan server in Falstead, but was also partially suggested by Caleb Edgar on my Stone Prison build guide, so thank you for the suggestion. He asked for various different town square builds, and I've done a couple of them here and there, but a courthouse is one of the few things I've never built on its own individual video before, so it seemed like a good choice. For this build I wanted to create a luxurious and spacious courthouse that captures the feeling of a real life courthouse, at least to some degree. If you've ever walked past or you've been unfortunate enough to be inside a courthouse in real life, you know that quite often there are people outside talking and waiting, there's a lobby and the courtroom is usually quite spacious, and of course the architecture is usually quite distinct, as they're often quite old buildings with a lot of history behind them. They also stand out as quite important looking structures, either in the architecture or the colour scheme, which is what I'll aim to do with this build by using Aquilonian and Terranian together. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I started by drawing out a staircase section and the rough outline of the courthouse with Aquilonian foundations, then using frontier foundations inside the hollow section of the build to create the wooden floor. I'll be using Frontier for the floors, Aquilonian for the walls, and Terranian for the accents. This creates a nice duality of colours between Aquilonian and Terranian that keeps the build looking both interesting and regal, and the Frontier pieces add quite a refined and authentic feeling through the dark wood. When I'd finished the base plate, I then extended the sections around the staircase, creating small platforms that could contain either planters or statue platforms. I used square stage pieces to elevate the planters a little higher so the plants are a bit more visible, and used statues of guidance to illuminate the area. I also decided to extend the wooden section out a little further for the lobby. Next for the walls, I built a small lobby section right at the front of the build, with the rest of the wooden section designed to be the courtroom. It was at this point I introduced the Terranian, removing every other Aquilonian foundation around the perimeter of the build, and replacing them with Terranian foundations, from which I'll build up Terranian walls against the walls of the courthouse. Once I had placed the foundations, I continued with the walls. 
I used Aquilonian frames quite sparingly in the courtroom, as I'd instead use lattice walls to act as windows on the second tile up between every terranium wall pillar, which turned out to work quite nicely. I built the walls three tiles high, and did the same for the terranium wall pillars. I then covered the top of the build with mostly Aquilonian ceilings, using frontier ceilings on the back side of the courthouse, and creating some stairs to reach the judge's office, which will sit on the roof as a standard two tile high rectangular room. Next I built the terranium wall pillars up one more tile and capped them off using rooftop cap pieces. I then used the roof of the judge's office as another platform above the roof, using awnings, ceilings and pillars to create a mostly covered viewing bay. Next I went back inside the courtroom and constructed various areas, including the judges and witnesses seats, the jury bay, three viewing bays and the plaintiff and defendants desks. I used terranium fences to structure this room properly, and whilst the room looks a bit confusing and dark now, it'll look far better when it's all decorated and properly lit during the furnishing phase.
Finally, I place some more planters outside the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Approaching the build, I've extended the front staircase section and introduced some more planters and statues, whilst also lighting the build using wall braziers and protected torches. I've also included plenty of thralls waiting around and talking outside the build to get the feel of a functioning courthouse. This courthouse belongs to the Sons of the Solace sub-faction, as denoted by the flags of a yellow sun on a blue field. This is a faction I came up with that you may start to see making appearances in other builds, along with the Colonising Conan server. I will most likely use it in the Colonising Conan server soon, so you will get a little bit more explanation on this sub-faction. Entering the lobby, this is the waiting area of the courthouse where paperwork is collected, processed and given out, along with where people will wait for the results of trials and where lawyers can come in to book sessions in the court for their clients. Entering the courtroom, this room feels much more alive with proper furnishing and lighting. There is plenty of seating for the jury and the viewers within the courthouse, which was a problem I had with my first courthouse build in Falstead. Beneath the judge's seat are two guards and the judge's assistant, who takes documents and evidence from the plaintiff or defendant and presents them to both the judge and the jury. Heading upstairs, we reach the judge's office. This is where the judge can rest between court sessions, along with holding meetings with prosecutors.
Heading outside, we reach the luxurious rooftop garden, exclusively used by the judge and his favourite associates. Whilst this is a very nice area, this is where the judge will make political and tactical moves to ensure he can get exactly what he wants from his associates by influencing them, to think they too may be able to enjoy such a life of luxury. And there we have it, a courthouse in the northeastern plains, just north of the Dry Falls. Thanks for watching, I really enjoyed this build and I think it came out really well, and also definitely helped me to formulate some more lore ideas for the colonising Conan project regarding sub-factions that could make use of those war banners. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the Fun R Discord through the links in the description. YouTube is currently my full time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot, Randar, Motels and Dawnfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.